who you may have heard of morels described as being random in nature. I would argue quite the opposite, that they're very specific and predictable mushrooms. For example, the uh, yellow morel grows in association with a very short list of tree hosts. Ash, elm, tulip poplar, black cherry, apple tree, and cottonwood. And it comes up at the same time every year when the soil temperature reaches about 50 degrees and they will come out for uh, a season which is just a, a handful of weeks. Same every year, so I would say that's very predictable. There's about 18 recognized species of uh, morel mushrooms in the United States. There are other very specific and predictable ones out there. For example, the uh, Morcella diminutiva, the tulip morel, only grows uh, in association with the tulip poplar tree, or at least for the most part. Uh, we have uh, Morcella sextoletta in the Northwest, only grows in association with areas that have been burned by forest fires. Uh, so those are two examples of very specific mushrooms. The uh, morels may be a lot more rare than other mushrooms, uh, but I don't think they're as random as some of them. You may have to look uh, at a lot of their host trees, uh, search them out uh, to actually find some, but they are out there. The more you learn about them, the more you seek them out, the more you'll learn to uh, predict their mysterious ways. Way more random mushroom, in my opinion, would be the turkey tail mushroom. It grows almost every month of the year, and it can grow on 70 different types of hardwoods and even grow on grapevines. I think that's really random. And another good example of a random mushroom, in my opinion, would be the common oyster mushroom. You can find this mushroom any month of the year. It grows on a numerous amount of uh, dead trees, and it can be white, it can be cream, it can be gray, it can be tan, it can be darkish brown. Way more random than the morel mushroom.